If you visited Reddit comment sections at any point in the past decade or so, chances are good that you've heard whispers of a place called the War Lizard Gaming Forums. It all stems from a user named War Lizard with a very prolific comment history. With highly upvoted comments often floating around the default subs, people will often ask him, Hey, are you THE War Lizard? The guy from the War Lizard Gaming Forums? But he had no idea what the War Lizard Gaming Forums were. But few people really question this occasional interaction. I mean, it's not unheard of. I've definitely run into friends from old forums on Reddit before. It's a big internet out there, and there's a lot of gaming forums, even now where it seems like the internet is consolidated into people just refreshing the same three or four websites over and over again. But these war lizard gaming forums, they ain't what they seem. And that's why for this episode of Tales from the Internet, I want to ask the question, who is war lizard and what were the war lizard gaming forums? This video is brought to you by Filmora9. Filmora9 is an easy to use editing software made by Wondershare and this month they're running a contest. Anyone can create a Wondershare.com account and join the contest. And during the Halloween campaign, Filmora releases the latest Halloween effects pack, including the horror pack, the cute monsters pack, and the voices of Halloween pack. Check it out on the film stocks page. And spin the lucky wheel lottery for a chance to win a prize. The best prize is a GoPro Hero. The second prize is access to the film store and Filmora Lessons. And third prize is 20% off Filmora or Film Stocks. Each user has two tries a day on their Wondershare account, and while you're there you can check out their new Halloween film effects. The contest runs until November 15th, so have fun and good luck. If you watched my video on Unidan, you'll recall that I mentioned a number of other famous Redditors, one of them being Warlizard. And unlike Unidan, Warlizard remains active on Reddit to this very day. You can look at his history and see plenty of comments from just this week alone. And you can see plenty of replies to these comments still reading, Hey, aren't you that guy from the Warlizard gaming forum? To which he'll still often respond with le epic Reddit face. But you'd think that with so many people talking about these War Lizard gaming forums that they'd be more popular than they are, yet have you ever been there? Have you ever visited the War Lizard gaming forum? I mean, if you've ever been to the War Lizard gaming forum, I guess let me know. But to know the story of War Lizard, we had to go all the way back to April of 2010. Although at this point War Lizard had already been on Reddit for about a year, this was his breakthrough moment, a thread by Carmenaut entitled what is the stupidest thing you've ever had an argument about? Here was his response. My ex-fiance worked at a vet and her job included jacking off the dogs for the purpose of artificial insemination. I didn't realize that it was a labor of love until she mentioned her first orgasm came from a dog. What? Yeah, it turned out she really liked dogs. I never looked at our dog the same way again. Oddly enough, she kept him when we broke up. We were sitting on the couch one night, watching TV, when she blurted out that her first orgasm came from a dog. I don't know what to say. On one hand, what the fuck? But on the other hand, this was a woman I'd asked to marry me. So, I asked for clarification. She said she was 13 or 14 and was sitting naked in her room when the dog came up to her, sniffing around. He started licking, it felt good, so she let him keep doing it, and then she came. Wow. Yeah, it gets worse. I broke up with her and she was kinda of clingy, so I introduced her to anybody I thought might get along with her. They got married and had two kids. Last year she decided she liked women better, so left her husband for this fat chick. No big deal, you say. Well, after about eight months, she decided that she wasn't really gay and is now dating a guy. Her twin sister decided that she is gay, left her husband, and is now dating the girl that my ex left her husband for. It's pretty sordid. Yeah, I visited her ex-husband this past week, and he was surprisingly resigned to the whole thing. It actually gets worse, but it's kind of a long story. The suspense is killing me. I'm making dinner while I'm trying to figure out how much background information to give. The crazy parents that drained her bank account with her permission, the abortion, the sister that killed a guy, the retarded brother, the pain porn, the boyfriend that tied her up and let his friends fuck her, etc. It's just so crazy that it doesn't seem real. 
putting it all down in one place is just, well, I guess I haven't thought of it in a long time. So War Lizard went and he cooked his dinner and he, I assume he enjoyed it, and then he came back and decided to post the full story. It's a long one, so I'm gonna skip to the TLDR and put the full dramatic reading on my second channel. TLDR, I was engaged to a submissive torture porn fan whose first orgasm came from a dog, required anal stimulation to come, who had bankrupt parents, a ghetto sister who shot a guy and killed him, a retarded brother, and a twin sister who later dated her girlfriend after she decided she was gay, left her husband, then got better. The response to this epic tale was massive, and War Lizard quickly developed a reputation of being one of Reddit's greatest storytellers. That was very entertaining. Fucked up, but a great read. Thanks for writing it all down. If you ever decide to write out the full version, including the gay bars, the earthquake, etc., I have to read it. Heh. <laughs> I always thought my checkered past would make for a fun book, but there's no way I want my kids to ever read it. Even in this story, I realize I look like a total dick. People would demand more, leading to a Reddit AMA and eventually the creation of r slash warlizard for the discussion of all things warlizard. And he would eventually get around to writing that book released in March of 2011, The War Lizard Chronicles, Adventures with Vodka, Woman, and War which I'll add to my Amazon store if you're interested. But despite gaining the reputation of being one of Reddit's greatest storytellers, and despite his book being a success with, as I understand it, over 500,000 copies sold, this legacy would be eclipsed, at least by some measures, by what would come next. It all begins with a seemingly innocuous exchange that April. Hey, are you from the War Lizard Gaming Forum? Nope, never heard of it. This was the first time that War Lizard was ever asked about the gaming forum, but if you looked it up then, absolutely nothing would turn up. Maybe this guy remembered the name wrong or confused it with something similar, who knows. You would think that would just be a pretty minor forgettable interaction, right? But then another person would ask, hey, are you from the War Lizard gaming forum? And then another, and then another. And over the course of the next few months, it would seem that War Lizard couldn't comment anywhere without being asked about these gaming forums. Eventually, he would just start replying to these comments to promote his book, but nobody really got to the bottom of what this was coming from until an AMA with Mark Kern, the lead developer of World of Warcraft. War Lizard didn't have a question for Mark, he just wanted to leave a comment. Dude, thanks. Vanilla WoW was spectacular. Mind-blowing. Thanks. We had a very passionate team. A lot of credit has to go to Alan Adam, one of the original founders of Blizzard, and probably the industry's best designer, that nobody's ever heard of. WoW really was his baby. It's well deserved. I remember just shaking my head in wonder at how much fun it was. And then he gets this reply. War Lizard forums for the win. Dude! War Lizard's response this time was actually pretty interesting because he replied with an image that showed where the name War Lizard came from, his unit from his military days. Perhaps it was this reveal that finally brought the architect of this War Lizard forum debacle out of hiding. Lupin96. Okay, let me break it down for you. Every single person who has ever mentioned the forums was me. It started as a joke from a novelty account. Later, I started doing it from other accounts, trying to see how far I could take this, until you noticed. But you didn't. I have learned some things about you, and honestly, I couldn't have randomly picked a more interesting person. Consider this your Reddit birthday gift. From your stalker. That's fucking brilliant. Well done. And I'm really not that interesting, I just put myself in interesting situations. Now, the tinfoil hat guy in me starts to think, hey, this guy puts out a book in March. And then in April, all of a sudden, he kind of becomes the focus of this meme that gradually takes over Reddit. Don't you think maybe he's doing this to promote his book or something, right? Well, let's take a look at that first comment one more time. It's written by a user with the name Makes You Google Things. This being the novelty account that was mentioned by Lupin, whose purpose was to make you Google things, and up until that point, it was pretty unsuccessful. I'd squat over a mirror all day, Cochise. I spent like five minutes looking for some definition of the word Cochise that would fit the context of the sentence. I'm retarded. I just assumed it was a reference I didn't get until I saw your comment. Makes you Google things. There is actually a popular anime with Cochise as a title. Look for it, it's pretty awesome. Oh, you made him Google it. Negative one points. Derp. Makes you Google things. 
If you Google that, the second result actually links to one of your comments. Oh, you lied to him and you made him Google it and you told him to Google it, so he went and Googled at one point. Charlie Sheen, playing as Steve Urkel in the most anticipated film of the year, makes you Google things. You posted this three times. Search for Reddit Sweet Help on Google. Please don't let this happen again. Negative 17 points. Clearly, Reddit was not enjoying this new novelty account. It was, I guess, just a little bit too ham-fisted. It wasn't until the War Lizard comment that he had found the right level of subtlety and plausibility. He basically had one successful attempt at making this gimmick work, so when it finally did work, he ran with it, and rest assured, War Lizard did Google that. War Lizard. This is exactly the case. And it worked. I did Google like mad trying to figure out what the fuck these people were talking about. It's the best prank ever played on me. But here's the thing. At that point, Lupin claimed that he was the only one asking about the War Lizard gaming forums and all of his ults, and I think he had underestimated his influence. I mean, obviously now everybody asks him about the forums, but even back then, Lupin planted those seeds, but those seeds sprouted very quickly, and it was a lot of different people asking about the gaming forums. And to this day, War Lizard is completely unable to avoid questions about the gaming forums, I'm sure by me making this video it's gonna make it even, even worse. And all that being said now, throughout the years there have been a few attempts of making actual War Lizard gaming forums, but none have stuck, and one has spent most of its time as a memorial to some guy named Dave, so you know, R.I.P. Dave, whoever you are. But anyway, that's it for the War Lizard story, if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy the rest of my Reddit videos. I'm out of here.